welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being with me here today today i'm doing your daily reading this is for aries sun moon rising and venus if you have aries placements this reading is for you if this reading doesn't resonate head over to the videos tab that there might be another video that is more suitable for your individual circumstance this is a collective reading not a one-to-one -one read for personal reading it's the first link in the description box today i'm super excited to be sharing this sacred geometry there you go it's too big the deck is literally so big it's, you can't even see it um this sacred geometry cards with you um which are bought directly from the author so i'm super excited to be sharing this with you so stay till the end i will be pulling messages i have been working with these cards myself for a little while before bringing it on the channel i always like to tune in so super excited so let's see what is your current energy so your energy right now aries energy aries energy you like starting with these and seeing what's happening wow okay all right so we've got some really big heavy eating cards in your overall energy the first card we have is the seven of um, swords so this is your energy not other people's energy um the sun card and then we have the queen of swords so as i look at these cards there's a bit of fluff this is what happens in winter all the knitwear that we wear it just catches on fluff and all these other things anyway so when i'm looking at this this to me is saying that in your overall energy you are you are thinking and shifting your way of you are changing the way you think about things whether it's a person um job business or financial situation with this to me there's a lot of gold in these two cards so to me whatever you are basically it's almost like there is light shining. There is light shining on this matter, person, place, situation that's brought about new ways of thinking and pathways, which is going to result in happiness and joy. So the sun card is the happiest card in the deck. So this new way of thinking is almost going to be, it's going to be a huge relief for you, Aries. I feel like it, I'm getting the visual of burdens literally being lifted off. You know, it's almost like my shoulders, I've got a bit of a stiff neck from um, this morning, but my shoulders, there's a lot of movement in my shoulders. It's almost like a big load has been lifted off my shoulders. That's what I'm picking up energetically. With the Queen of Swords, these three cards right here are saying, Aries, that be, move forward. The Queen of Swords is saying, move forward. You are divinely guided at this moment in time and what you're thinking and the way you're thinking about things is in a new way. And this fresh perspective, this fresh way of thinking, these new ways of doing things, it's what's going to bring you joy, happiness and success. And the Queen of Swords is also saying you're basically cutting out the noise. So with the reason why I say that these are both sword energy. So you might be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. But to me, these two cards, he's looking back and she's looking forward. So with the Queen of Swords, I feel like she's like, no, nah, stop looking at the back. There's no need to look at the back. You've learned and integrated those lessons and now you're ready to move forward. That's the energy and vibe that I'm picking up from these two cards alone. That Spirit is giving you a big green light. So if you've been waiting for a green light on any particular area of your life, take this as a big yes, a big goal. A big yes I'm on the right path so take it as your confirmation you might also want to comment and claim that it's a great way to de declare decree it to the universe okay okay I feel pretty comfortable with that so let's see what is coming towards you I just want to make sure it's upright what is coming towards my beautiful Aries what's coming towards my beautiful Aries Feel like we're starting off with these wow so we've got the nine of wands eight of pentacles queen of cups and the page of wands so if i i'll, I'll attempt to hold all four of these cards because there is a story this right here is talking about your passion, your purpose, your creativity. 
to me, this is saying the with the page of wands, spirit is saying your passion, purpose, and creativity is what brings you joy. What feels like fun doesn't feel like work. And if you are someone that, say for example, has another, to me, this is talking about two things. One is the first message is for somebody here that wants to do a second stream of income to do with your purpose work. That's going to bring a lot of fun, happiness, and joy, and creativity. Yes, it will take work, but it's going. it won't feel like work because you are going to get so much deep emotional fulfillment and connection and also feel like you're having fun whilst doing it that it won't feel like work. So take that as your confirmation. If you're looking to start your Etsy store, um, your cooking channel, or TikTok video, whatever, whatever it is that you vibe with. So, yeah, it's not going to feel like that. For others of you, I feel like with these cards, maybe you have been putting in work. Maybe there, this could be your business, this could be a job. You feel like you're putting in all this work, but you can't see the fruits of your labor. That's because you can see in this Eight of Pentacles, he is looking down. He's looking and working on this pentacle. He hasn't, he's not paying attention that he's got all these other pentacles that are already there. Six pentacles are already built. And he's got the seventh pentacle and he's working on the eighth. So he hasn't taken the moment to see how far he's come. And I feel like for somebody here, this is about acknowledging how far you have come. Not that you still have a way to go. You're only one wand away from completion. So if you feel like, you know, your business is not taking off or it's not at the level that you want, Spirit is saying, don't give up. Keep doing the work. Keep focusing on your art, your craft. Keep doing and doing the thing and showing up. You're so close to completion. Now is not the time to throw the towel. However, to get through this period, what you need to do is have some fun. To get through this period, you can't be so serious. You can't let this thing be the thing that determines how you live your life. You got to do other things. You got to have other interests. You got to have balance. And this page of wants is about having that fun element, having that balance element in your life. Don't make don't be so serious, Aries. Don't be so serious. That's your message. Okay. Yeah, for somebody it's to do with money. 5 of pentacles showing up. This is to do with maybe you feel like you have been working in your money for so long. For others of you, it could be love. I've also got lovers that have showed up. So you know your story. This is a collective read, not a one-to-one -one read. But with the five of pentacles, look now, will of fortune. Definitely somebody to do with work or money um, or a job situation. I mean, look at that. Um, to me, this five of pentacles is all talking about left lack mindset. Talking about feeling left out in the cold, not, you know, basically I feel like it's almost like getting into this mindset, no, no matter what I do, nothing works for me. Um, I have to work so hard to make money, money, it's hard for me to make money, it's hard for me to uh, grow money, it's hard for me to be wealthy. It's that, you know, because ultimately you want, you want to be able to make money easily, effortlessly. And with the five of pentacles, a lot of the times, feeling left out in the cold, you will see that there are two figurines just outside what looks like a church. They don't have to be in the cold, they in the elements. They can go inside the church and be warm and have shelter and be sheltered from the elements, but they choose to be out there. This is the way you think, your belief systems. So if you have belief systems of lack, of fear, of feeling like, you will never make money. You can never save money. You can never have money. Why you can't make or have million dollars. Why your business can't be successful. Why you can't get a job. If you have those belief systems ingrained within you, they are all stemming from fear and doubt of feeling not good enough, not feeling worthy enough for the thing that you're desiring. Become a money magnet is a game changing program that I am starting in a couple of weeks. You can join us. It's a four week online program in a private container with me. You get to spend and hang out with me and other like minded people for four weeks where we work through your belief systems around money. We heal and reprogram the way you deal with money, work with money and open up portals of receiving. 
That's what Become a Money Magnet is all about. So if you've been wanting to work with me around money, particularly with all these pentacles showing up, this is a great opportunity. We will also be coinciding with the Lionsgate portal during this time. So great time to be opening those channels and portals of receiving. Queen of Cups, opening yourself. And yeah, information is in the communities tab or you can email me if you can't find it. All right, so let's get your advice. Because a lot of the times, you know, that's also a strategy. Seven of Swords, that strategy. You think of things differently and voila, happiness and joy is yours. Because you've cut out belief systems and conditions and limitations that were stopping or blocking the abundance, the wealth, the prosperity, the flow. It's essentially getting out of your own way and in your own head sometimes because our heads tell stories. So temperance, it's about taking a balanced, measured approach, Sagittarius energy. Temperance card has been showing up a lot in Aries readings. Um, so I feel like maybe a lot of you have temperance place, temperance placements, right, Sagittarius placements. But this, this is also this balance that, you know, Aries, we are a doing sign, but we also have to be keeping that and also emotional balance. This is about bal balance, emotional, mental and physical balance is what I'm picking up here. Oh my golly gosh, look at this. Look at this. Jackpot windfall. It's yours, Aries. End of delays. No more waiting. No more waiting. No more procrastinating. Change your strategy. Shift your thinking. That's what's going to bring you results. That's what's going to bring this wheel of fortune quickly, swiftly, suddenly into your world. I mean, two major arcanas showing up in your advice. The wheels are turning and they're turning in your favor. So claim these blessings. This is major winning vibes. This is you getting blown. Like it's almost like a light bulb. What I'm seeing is a light bulb moment. You change the way you do something and or the way you think. And all of a sudden, everything just starts to fall into place. New ideas come in. New inspiration comes in. All of a sudden, you don't even feel resonant with the old stuff. You are now moving forward. And what felt like it was so hard, it's so complicated, it's so difficult, it all starts to just spin. It's a cycle. You've completed that cycle and you no longer feel any attachments. So it's you are not struggling. You're not pushing against the grain. You are in flow. This wheel of fortune is you are in flow. You are in flow and this wheel is moving forward. Because remember, the wheel of fortune, you also have to do your bit. People often think, oh, you know, it's the wheel. The wheel keeps spinning. Yeah, but the wheel can spin clockwise or anti-clockwise, forward or backward. And it can choose not to move. So that's where you do your bit with the strategy and go back and watch the start of the reading, okay, if you've just joined us. Because this is the thing. These cards unfold as I'm doing the readings. And a lot of the times people comment and I'm like, did you watch even the beginning? You have to watch the whole reading to understand what we're talking about. So with this Wheel of Fortune, jackpot, windfall, success, abundance, wives. Claim this in comments. The Wheel of Fortune hasn't been showing up for a while, so I'm really excited. I can't make it up. The moment you walk away from something that you may not have maybe hidden or you don't know at the moment, trust your intuition though. Trust and work with your intuition as well. We're, leading, we're coming close to the new moon as well, so this is a highly intuitive time to tap into your intuition, to do the inner work, to do the healing work, to really open your heart, your, you know, if it's money stuff, it's opening your base chakra. Your base chakra is deep, deep sense of security and stability. When that's in, in imbalance, that's why you don't make money. That's why you can't get jobs. That's why you struggle to attract, you know, abundance and wealth into your life. So it's about walking away from things and belief systems that are not serving you. And trusting your intuition so you can move forward. And take your power back. Be the king of wands. Somebody here definitely is um, walking away from a job situation and you're starting your own business. Or you're starting a second stream of income which will ultimately become so successful that you'll be able to leave your current job if you're in current employment. This Claim these blessings in comments. The king of wands is the high, most entrepreneurial card in the deck. And we talked about all that work here. So if you're feeling inspired, 
If you're feeling like you're getting all these nudges, downloads to do certain things, now's the time for you to get to do it, Aries, because you are unstoppable. You have this, you, the wind is, it's almost like the wind is blowing you forward, propelling you forward. I'm getting this vision of propelling, like it's almost like, you know, when a flight, when, a, when um, a, an airplane takes off, that's the vision I'm getting, except big angelic wings are pushing you forward. So this is, about, this is all about forward movement and momentum. And only you can decide whether that's what you want. So claim this wheel, in, wheel of fortune and claim it and make it yours. Jackpot, windfall vibes. Whether it's money, whether it's career, whether it's love. The moment you leave things where they belong in the past, open your pathways to new ways of thinking and being. It's a total game changer. All right. So if you have just joined us, I'm super excited to be working with this brand new deck, Sacred Geometric Healing Cards. I actually met with the author and I bought the last three decks. I have been, I must say, I'm so blessed. I feel really, really, truly blessed. The last three tarot decks I've bought directly from the authors and I've met the authors. And um, in one of the cases, I actually got a reading from one of the authors as well. So there you have it. Um, so... I really, you know, I, it's not just me having a channel. I actually live and breathe this work. And, um, yeah, now I'm supporting the people that are actually be making these beautiful decks and appreciating that art, their art and craft and talking to them about their journey. It's such a blessing, truly. Um, yeah, I've, I really, I, I don't take this work lightly. I mean, it, this is not just another video or another channel for me. Okay. I love this shape shifter i personally resonate with this because i feel like this is the emperor and aries vibe you are a mover shaker maverick change maker way shower light worker shape shifter there you go we'll add that in inner knowledge and ancient wisdom okay i'm going to it's number eight. Oh my goodness number eight is the most abundant number if you didn't know all right so i'm going to be reading this message, sacred geometry is very powerful. So inner knowledge, ancient wisdom, I am able to shift my thoughts and perceptions to keep myself aligned with the ever evolving energetic changes we experience on a daily level. A shape shifter is someone or something that seems to be able to change form or identity at will. Even though as humans, we cannot physically change from one form to another, we have the ability to shift our energetic patterns by using different vibrations and frequencies to ultimately change our energetic bodies. This is talking everything about healing. So, um, you know, energy healing, chakra balancing, as well as become a money magnet. That's what we're doing with all the money stuff. This card has presented today to show you that we, will, we all have the ability to reach our desired outcomes by making certain changes in our thought processes and by being more flexible, we can achieve our goals at will. I totally agree with this. So the sacred geometry, the Chakana or Inca cross can be found throughout South America in one form or another. Translated, Chakana means bridge or stairwell to heaven. Oh, that's so beautiful. It connects heaven and earth, the spiritual experience with the physical experience. It is a sacred and mysterious symbol which holds the key to many of the ancient knowings that connect us within the universe. It is found within much of the Andean architecture. The Chakana has many meanings and its uses are vast. It is mainly depicted as a 12-stepped cross with a hole in the center. The hole is considered to be the center of Cusco, which depict, depicts the navel of the Incan Empire. In Quichua, it is the navel of the universe. The 12 steps show duality in all as well as polarity. Wow, that is so beautiful. The chakana is the portal and an activator for all things metaphysical. It is truly shape-shifting geometry depending on how you perceive it. The sacred geometry within this shape is vast and I know this form personal experience. I feel it as feel it important to discuss what I have been shown so that you can use the frequencies as a template tool for your work healings. So this is talking about receiving the vibration so in the vision of chakana being transformed to represent an octahedron which started to counter rotate like the markaba as the markaba is a representation of mind body and spirit 
being in perfect harmony with counter rotating in balance at the ratio of 21.34, which is flyonomic numbers and the length and width of DNA. Wow. The same goes for chakana, that being it is a symbol of work on all levels of our being to create the perfect harmonics throughout our lifetimes. Wow, look at that. We all have ability through mediumship and meditation and use certain planet medicines under the guidance of shaman or the like to take us to other realities past lives or even into the future to keep ourselves aligned into vibrational frequencies of the universe. Shapeshifter will help you to shift your perceptions and understanding by awakening your inner knowledge and ancient wisdoms and help meld you to the person you want to become. Amazing. Create the balance in your life you want to achieve. This numerology is number eight. Your crystal suggestions are Apophyllite, Pyramid, Selenite, Clear Quartz and Moldavite. And animal medicine is Owl or Condor. Essences, owl and condor medicine essence. Let me know what you thought of this. Oops, what you thought of this um, deck. But didn't this card pretty much sum up the entire reading? I'm so glad. It literally, this is why I love working with Oracle cards because they literally bring the whole reading together and it just provides that extra confirmation sometimes we're looking for. So, Aries, if you desire to be part of that four week. Become a Money Magnet program. All the information is in the Communities tab or you can email me or hashtag Magnet. Par private readings, it's the first link in the description box. For healing and chakra balancing, you can email me. My information is in the description box. And Aries, remember, the power that is you by being you now. And I will see you next time.